Hey guys, it's me, King Boxing Nerd, with another video. Yes! Well, Saul Canelo Alvarez will announce, announce his fight for the Cinco de Mayo weekend. And it's no other than Jaime Munguia. Yep. Jaime Munguia will be Canelo's next opponent. Uh, finally uh, got an opponent. Everybody was waiting in anticipation, waiting for Canelo's uh, next move. And it will be Jaime Munguia. Um, I've been trying to uh, look up uh, comments on this fight on YouTube, see what uh, people from the boxing YouTube community think of this fight, predictions. There's not much right now. Um, I feel like if it would have been against David Benavides, Canelo versus Benavides, um, everybody would be talking about that. <laughs> but uh, since it's Canelo Munguia, um, maybe when it's, it gets closer to the fight, they will. Um, it's not a bad fight, necessarily. It's not Canelo Benavides, but it's it's still a good fight. It's still a good scrap for the Cinco de Mayo weekend. Um, it will sell. Two Mexican fighters going at it. Um, and uh, what is there left to say? I mean, this is Jaime. This will be Jaime Munguia's biggest task. We keep saying that every every fight he has recently. This is his biggest fight. Um, and is he ready? And for some reason or another, uh, he finds a way to win. He finds a way to win. He's not the most gifted fighter as far as defensive skills go, but he packs a hell of a punch. And he has great offensive skills, which he's improved. He's improved. Um, now under Freddie Roach, he's gotten better. But, but, there's always a but with him. For some reason, uh, those defensive uh, mistakes, you know, which uh, he can't make any mistakes against Canelo Alvarez. He can't give him anything. Now, a lot of you are for, for sure favoring Canelo because he's just a better fighter all around. And I would agree. But, Jaime still has a chance. He has a puncher's chance. And he has to go in there. Um, not being too respectful of Canelo. Jaime had said that it would be an honor to share the ring with Canelo Alvarez. But I hope that when he's in the ring with him, he doesn't respect Canelo too much. And he can do it, guys. He can do it. I mean, look, John Ryder went to Mexico and fought Canelo in his turf and went toe to toe with Canelo Alvarez. Gave Canelo a tough fight. And I asked myself this question John Ryder was able to go 12 rounds with Canelo Alvarez. If John Ryder was able to go 12 rounds with Canelo Alvarez, why can't Jaime Munguia do the same? And John Ryder, if if he would have been if he would have been gifted with some pop, some punching power, th think of it, it, it would have been a different outcome. Munguia has the pop, guys. So he has a puncher's chance. But, you know, it goes with Canelo opponents that you think they're going to go in there and do one thing. And when they get in the ring, the, the bell rings and uh, they do something else. I want to believe that this won't be the case with Jaime Munguia. And that he will press. But, we will find out. Let me know what you guys think. Skin Boxing Nerd, please like comment down below, subscribe, 
and let me know what you guys think of this fight and how you guys will think it'll play out. Catch you guys later.